There are certain questions that you need to ask your clients before starting out a new project. And in this video, I'm going to give you those questions. What are the different categories? How you can phrase them? If you're uncomfortable asking certain questions, how to fit them in different types of projects based on what is it? Is it branding? Is it just for a landing page? Is it for a whole product? Then I'm going to share the whole file for you and you can just reuse it the way you want you guys were asking so many times about this document over here and i just couldn't gatekeep anymore so let's see what it is this is actually a google document that i got from one of the agencies that i used to work with and when i started freelancing they gave me this document to use with my clients and well they were really helpful to me so i'm just gonna share it with you guys now they got to land a lot of clients using this document so let's see the first thing about this page is that it's a google document you can do this wherever you want it could be notion it could be any other platform that you could just ask a bunch of questions you can change the customized themes you can change the cover here colors fonts and stuff like that that is an obvious thing and now let's just get into the form and how what are the questions that you need to ask and how you can phrase them so there are a couple of questions that are a must the first one is the name and email that you well you have to ask uh, in order to like have it and restore it for future opportunities let's say the third question that i ask is a list of their platform features basically if this is a landing page you can ask a list of your landing page sections this is really important to get because if it's a landing page you're gonna have to ask a follow up question which is do you have the content if you have the content please attach it to this file or just give it to me or something but if it's just a platform we can just ask about a list of features so it's the scope of the project would be more visible to you so just ask about the list of the features that they have or the sections in their landing page or the things in assets that they need and what are they so make sure you do ask this question let's say if it was a platform and they listed their features here you have to ask if they want responsive versions this is again important there are certain things that you have to communicate with your client at the beginning if they want responsive feature if they want a design system if they want light dark mode and stuff like that you have to ask all these questions and get the answers to them in able to scope the product easier you have to ask about the responsive version if they want what are the sizes if they don't know it that is okay you want to get the list of their competitors people who are in the same business as them and they think they are competing with them because we want to build the product that top that product so you have to get the competitor list again this is the dark mode and light mode question and then two very important questions and the fact that you must ask them and you have to phrase them well. the first thing is like oh uh, what is your timeline you can change this based on the scope of the project for example if it's a landing page you don't have to do it based on months if it's a big product you can actually base it on a month or days that could be days if it's a small project so you add the timeline here and get the timeline that they have in their mind and they want to get there within that timeline the next one is can you please let me know your budget for this project from below options again this is a really important question so you got to get the budget so you can advise them well on what exactly you can deliver to them based on their budget and if there's something that is out of scope based on the budget that they're giving you so you have this based on again the project this could be different i started from under 2k to plus 12k so you have to make sure that you have a range that they could choose clients will never give you an exact amount so just ask them the range and just play ballpark in that range when you want to give a coat and then you link some examples what i do is i would like to create some sort of mood boards and just share the links it could be from dribble it could be from pinterest it could be from anywhere you want and i just link the description and link it to this question so you get the vibes of the styles and stuff like that that your client actually likes okay and then is there any similar platform with similar features if there is please send the link to it so basically the reason you want this there might be some platforms out there that are not a competitor to your client but have some of the features that your client wants and they're executing it well so you want to be introduced to them and just see how they do business and how do they create those kind of stuff that your client wants and it's going to be super helpful in the progress of creating the product or the landing page and then i just leave a section here that you can add any attachments here so if they have any extra documents they can just attach it here and that's it 
that's basically it there's this other thing that i sent to my clients and it's a project proposal and well i'm gonna give you the description on this one in the next video and i'm gonna tell you like how you can send the proposal and why and when you should send it and that's it for this video make sure to go to the description and use the file and let me know if it was helpful for you subscribe 80 percent of you guys are not subscribed it breaks my heart honestly and just leave a comment let me know what you think about this video and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye